Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about adding and subtracting in scientific notation. You can get the worksheet we use in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The first problem we're going to use to show you adding and subtracting in scientific notation gives us 9 times 10 to the 9th minus 2 times 10 to the 9th. When adding or subtracting in scientific notation, you are going to take the coefficients of each number that is being added or subtracted and you are going to either add or subtract those two together. So in this case we have a 9 and a 2. So these will be what we eventually will add or subtract together. The second part of adding or subtracting in scientific notation that you need to be aware of is that our powers of 10 must be equal. So in other words, the exponent on the power of 10 must be the same. For example, if this was, let's say, 10 to the seventh power, we could not subtract these because this exponent is 9 and this exponent is 7. So we would have to change the 7 into a 9, and once it was a 9, then we could add or subtract. But in the case of our first example, we have exponents that match. So we're going to go ahead and solve this problem. When solving this, we will take our coefficients, which is 9 and 2, and we're going to subtract them from each other. Then we're going to rewrite our power of 10 right next to it. So we will do times 10 to the 9th power. When adding or subtracting, the power of 10 has to be equal. Once the exponent is equal, you will keep the exponent the same in your answer. The next step is to actually go ahead and subtract the coefficients, so 9 minus 2 is 7 and then we will rewrite times and then our power of 10 which is 10 to the 9th power. So our answer in scientific notation is 7 times 10 to the 9th power because we do not change the power of 10 in our answer. Number 2 is very similar to number 1. We're given 3.6 times 10 to the 7th plus 2.1 times 10 to the 7th. So we know we're adding now we're going to add our coefficients together which is 3.6 plus 2.1 so we're going to go ahead and write that 3.6 plus 2.1 now if you look at our power of 10 our exponent is the same for each power of 10 10 to the seventh here and 10 to the seventh here so we do not have to change the exponent on the power of 10 because it is already equal we will just rewrite 10 to the seventh power underneath of our problem then we're going to go ahead and add our coefficients, 3.6 plus 2.1 is 5.7, and then we'll do times 10, and then we'll bring down the 7. So our solution will be 5.7 times 10 to the 7th power. Number 3 is a little trickier because it has one extra step. We're given 7.73 times 10 to the 5th minus 5.3 times 10 to the 4th. Now in this case, we cannot subtract these from each other because our exponents are not the same. So you will notice this has a 4 and this has an exponent of 5. So they are not equal which means we cannot subtract them. We have to change one of them into the other and then once they are equal you can subtract them. The easiest way to change the exponent on the power of 10 is to always make the smaller one into the larger one. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this 4 into a 5. The way we do this is we move the decimal to the left 1 and we put it here and then we add 1 to our exponent. So every time you move the decimal to the left you will add 1 to the exponent. So for example let's say we move the decimal instead of moving it once we move it 1 2 times we would then add 2 to this exponent. So it would be 4 plus 2. But if we did 4 plus 2, that would be 6, and we're not trying to make 6, we're trying to make 5. So adding 2 doesn't make sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it left one time, and then we're going to add 1, because 4 plus 1 is 5, and we're trying to make a 5. So we're trying to make the exponents equal. So let's rewrite our problem now. We know that we have 7.73 on this side times 10 to the 5th power minus, and now on this side we have 0.53 because we moved the decimal left once times 10 
to the fifth power because it's 4 plus 1, which would be 5. So now our exponents are equal. We have a 5 here and we have a 5 here. So we can go ahead and subtract our coefficients. So we'll do 7.73 minus 0.53 and then we'll rewrite times 10 and then our power of 10 which is 10 to the fifth power because this is what we created to make them equal. Then we'll go ahead and subtract our coefficients. 7.73 minus 0.53 will be 7.2 times 10 to the fifth power. And 7.2 times 10 to the fifth power is going to be our solution. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.